Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Christy Van with Fantastic Finances and I teach people how to get out of debt very, very quickly using Velocity Banking. That's exactly what we're going to be talking about today. Um, I have a military family that I wish I could go into the story of how I know this family. They know who they are and they are so precious to my soul. Uh, I just feel like that uh, the least I can do is to give them a strategy to get out of this debt very, very quickly. But this will just be part one for them because I want to show them the strategy and the concept in general. So that when we get into the numbers in the next video, then they will have an idea of what I'm even talking about. Because I'm sure they don't know. We are going to make 2023 a wonderful year for them financially. I feel it and I know it. And let's begin. So, when we talk about velocity banking, we are talking about using your money like you've probably never experienced before, you've never heard before. The whole concept is to keep your money working for you instead of working for the bank. When we uh, turn 16, uh, and we get a job and the first thing that you know our parents tell us is hey you gotta go get a checking account you gotta get a savings account because you know now they do direct deposits right into your accounts the bank loves that because every time you make a deposit into a checking or a savings you are making a deposit into uh, their finances and they appreciate you I'm sure and that's why they give you that 0.0152% that they give you back when you have money in their savings and if you have a high yield checking account you might get 0.1234 back right so that's how they show appreciation for you keeping those deposits coming into their bank but we want to stop that we want our money to work for us. We don't just throw it out to a payment and let it go into never, never land and we never see it again, right? No, we want the money to come back. We want the money to work for us. And you learn to control your debt so that it doesn't control you anymore. And that brings us financial peace. When you get your account uh, at the bank and the first thing that they usually have you do is they will have you set up a savings account, right? Almost everywhere needs you to have a savings account, then you can get you a checking. Okay, so with the checking account, um, that's where we pay our bills out, right? Okay, so here's your income and you automatically say, hey, the income goes into the bank, right? So when your income goes into the bank and it sits there, uh, this is where the bank is making money off of your deposits. Then after your money is in the bank, you always have bills to pay. So we might pay our rent out of the checking. We might pay our electric out of the checking. We'll pay our uh, food. We'll pay our um, gas. We probably have a car payment. We buy clothes. We pay for Netflix, so all subscriptions. We pay our car insurance. What else do we pay? Everything that we do comes out of this checking account, right? Because we let our money go in and then everything comes out from there, right? So this is what we want to stop because when your money goes and just sits in a checking account, it is doing nothing for you. It is not making you money. It's not saving you money. It's doing nothing for you. So the velocity strategy is, is if you have a credit card, why wouldn't you take and pay yourself by putting this income into your credit card? So if you have a credit card, 
and it's got ten thousand dollars on it and you're paying 21 percent interest and that's twenty one hundred dollars a year now this is simple interest okay so simple interest means that you will take the amount of interest on the balance that you currently have. So if this is a $12,000 credit card and you only have a $10,000 balance and you only pay the interest on what you're actually using, unlike this here, your boat payment or your car payment, that you will make $539 payment on this amount until every last dime of that is gone to $539. So if you are Paying your car payments out of this checking account, where does it go? Well, it goes into the bank, into this loan, right? And it's gone. I mean, can you go say, hey, uh, I made that $539 payment, uh, but I'm going to need 400 of that back. So could you like, you know, pick up the phone and call and say that? No, you can't. Now, once you throw a payment out, it's gone, right? Whether it be a mortgage, car payments, whatever. Is that the way it is with your credit card? A lot of people think it is. Credit card is not debt. Credit card should be your new checking account. And let me show you how. Okay, now remember, credit cards and lines of credit are simple interest. You're only charged for the balance that you're actually using. Here's where Velocity starts. You have the $10,000 credit card. What if with your income, the $6,300, what if you were to put that into your line of credit or your credit card? Now, this USAA, which is the example I'm going to use, it is at a $10,189 balance, but it is attached to a checking account, which means they can more than likely use it as a line of credit, meaning they can transfer money into the checking account as cash as needed. So that being the case, the $6,300 income, instead of going here into the bank, guess what? it would go right here. What does that do to this credit card? Uh, this is a high balance credit card at $228 a month. What does it do when you come over here and you put the money into the credit card instead of throwing it in the bank? Well, it looks like that you would take the $6,300 income, minus it off of your 10,000, right what's your credit card balance now $3,700 did you go get another job did you stop eating out did you stop doing anything did you change your lifestyle what did you do that brought this balance of this $10,000 down to $3,700 you just put your income in a different place. You didn't park it in a checking account. So immediately you're saying, well, I have expenses. And yes, you have expenses. So what would we do? You have $5,778 in expenses in this example. So throughout the month, on the first, you'll pay your electric bill. On the third, you'll pay your water bill. On the fifth, you'll go to the grocery store. On the sixth, you'll buy gas. Slowly throughout the month, these expenses start coming back in, but we're gonna write them in, so 5778, right? No, because the 5778 includes this 228 right here. And that's gone. You know why that payment's gone? It's because when that income went in, it satisfied the payment. You don't do the 5778. Let's just do it because I am not a mathematician. I can do velocity, but 
I use a calculator, right? <laughs> so that means that we are going to be at $5,550 now will be our expenses. So we will add the $5,550 in expenses back for month one. And then when you add that back in, $92.50 is now your balance on the credit card. This amount would get charged the 21%. Then the next month, you would do it again. You would bring your income in, $6,300, which would bring that to zero. $29.50 is now your balance on your credit card, right? So what do you do again? You're going to have those expenses again. So guess what? You'll bring it over. The $5,550, you will add that back in. This is expenses month two. $8,500 is now your balance in your second month. You went from $10,000 to $8,500 in two months doing nothing different. All you did, you, you didn't change a thing about your lifestyle. You just decided that you were going to put your money in a different place that works for you instead of the bank. So this $10,000 is no longer a $2,100 a year or $5.75 a day charge, is it? No, now you're at $8,500, which is $17.85 a year and about $4.89 a day. In two months, you've gone from $10,000 to $8,500 and the interest is not going to be $4.89. It's not going to be $5.75 because the bank figures your interest on your average daily balance. So as your balance, as your balance comes down from the initial chunk of your income, then it slowly goes back up through the month. You're never ever getting charged on the whole $8,500. You're just not because it's not in there. It's gradually building up. So you might have a day at $2,950. You might have a day at uh, $3,000. You might have a day at $3,500, but it's gradually building back up. So you can't say that your interest is gonna be $4.89 because you are not letting this 10,000 or this 8,500 sit for the entire year. The 21% is for the entire year at this balance, but we're not gonna allow that balance to sit on that even 30 days. So it's never going to be your $4.89. Does that make sense? If it doesn't, let me know and I'll be glad to go over it with you in more detail. But the point of Velocity banking is to, as soon as your income hits the checking account, it flies over into a line of credit as your new checking account. Now you can work on taking care of your debt and getting everything under control. And as this debt comes down, guess what? Very quickly, they're going to be hitting all of these debts, knocking them off. And this scenario, um, I've got to work through in the next video, but I wanted them to understand that the new strategy that they're using bypasses the bank, goes straight into their line of credit. And this is what's going to help them to eliminate their debt. Thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions, leave me any comments below. Thank you to my subscribers who are very precious and uh, always leave kind comments. I appreciate that. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.